Lesson 1. Random Variables. Discrete and Continuous. In this lesson, we're going to illustrate a random variable and distinguish between a discrete and continuous random variable. What is a random variable? A random variable is an unknown value or a function that assigns values to each of an experiment's outcomes. It is often designated by letters and can be classified as discrete or continuous. It is often used in econometric or regression analysis to determine statistical relationships among one another. In statistics and probability, it is used to quantify outcomes of a random occurrence and therefore can take on many values. It is required to be measurable and are typically real numbers. A random variable is different from an algebraic variable. Let's try and find the difference. Algebraic variables are usually denoted by a small letter, while random variables are denoted by a capital letter. For example, the capital letter X for the random variable and the small letter X for the algebraic variable. An algebraic variable is an unknown value that can be calculated. Let's look at the example here. 10 plus x equals 13. The variable x is an algebraic variable because you can solve it and you can find its value by calculating it. Solving it algebraically, we know that x is equal to 3. Therefore, this variable is an algebraic variable. Now for the random variable, a random variable has a set of values. For example, the sum of the resulting numbers after three dice are rolled. Basically, when you roll three dice and you add the results in rolling those three dice, you can get a lot of possible outcomes. So random variables has a set of values. There are two types of random variables, the discrete and continuous random variable. The discrete random variable is a numerical value associated with the desired outcomes. It is also either a finite or infinite number of values, but countable, such as whole numbers 0, 1, 2, and 3. For the continuous random variable, this has infinite numerical values associated with any interval on the number line system without any gaps or breaks. To make it simple, discrete random variables are variables that are countable and continuous random variables are variables that are measurable. So discrete can be counted and continuous can be measured. Let's look at the following examples for the discrete random variable. Number of eggs in a basket. Can you count the number of eggs in a basket? Yes, you can. Therefore, they are considered as discrete random variable. Next, number of kids in a class. You can count the number of kids in a class. Therefore, these variables are considered discrete. Next, number of Facebook likes. You can count it. Therefore, it is discrete. Number of diaper changes in a day. You can also count it. Therefore, it is considered discrete random variable. Number of wins in a season. You can count it. Therefore, it is discrete. And lastly, number of votes in an election. You can definitely count it. Therefore, they are considered as ra a discrete random variable. For the continuous random variable, we have here the weight difference to 8 decimals before and after cookie bench. You cannot count weight, but you can measure it. Therefore, it is considered as a continuous random variable. Next is wind speed. You cannot count the speed of the wind, but you can measure it. So, it is continuous. Water temperature. You cannot count it again, but you can measure the hotness or coldness of the temperature of water. And lastly, volts of electricity. You cannot count it, but you can measure it. Therefore, 
these variables are considered continuous. Now let's try and answer the following activity. Letter A. What is a random variable? A random variable is an unknown value or a function that assigns values to each of an experiment's outcome. Letter B. Let us classify the following random variables. Write D if your answer is discrete and C if your answer is continuous. Number 1. Number of siblings in a family. You can count the number of siblings in a family, therefore the answer is discrete, D. Number 2. Weight of newborns each year in a hospital. You cannot count it, but you can measure weight, therefore it is continuous. Number 3. Number of defective computers produced by a manufacturer. You can count it, therefore it is D. Discrete. Number 4. Speed of a car. You cannot count it, but you can measure the speed of a car. Therefore, the variable is continuous. C. Number 5. Time needed to finish the test. You cannot count time, but you can measure it. Therefore, it is continuous. C. Number 6. Number of female athletes. You can count it. Therefore, it is discrete. D. Average amount of electricity consumed per household per month. You cannot count it, so it is C. Number of voters favoring a candidate. You can count it, therefore it is D. Number of dropouts in a school. You can count it, so discrete. Number of patients arrival per day at a medical clinic. You can count it, therefore the answer is D. Discrete. So there you have it for random variables, discrete and continuous. I hope that you learned something in this lesson. Now, for the words to ponder from this lesson, just like discrete and continuous random variables, may we learn to measure the things that truly counts. And always make sure to have a statistic-amazing day. Have a good day!